Learning some traditional Chinese dance moves, these Columbia College students being exposed to the culture behind their Mandarin lessons. Teacher Ivy Ding says learning the Chinese language may help the students in years to come. The tourists come from um, China and the free trading you know, um, agreement, so that bring a lot of um, the business for the future and also um, there's more people come to the need and doing their education. She says the demand to learn Mandarin is in response to the increase in Chinese visitors here as well as New Zealand's trade with China. The students um, from school they want to learn Mandarin because they think that can bring them more opportunity for their future career. She says while Chinese characters may seem difficult to master, the grammar is easier than English. Actually, Chinese got very simple grammar compared to French and German, even easier than English. So the grammar part is quite simple, like a building blocks. However, the characters is a very challenging part because it looks completely different from the English. And if people are taught Chinese characters early in their childhood, it can greatly help studying the language later on. So when they become older, they find it is quite easy to recognize the words and they don't feel that challenge and so they think they can handle it. New Zealand is cited as being the first country to hold a nationwide Chinese language week. In Dunedin, the South today.